In this presentation, we're going to look at some basic operations that we would perform with matrices. The first one we're going to look at is determining the dimensions of a matrix. Then we're going to look at the transpose of a matrix. We're going to look at adding and subtracting matrices. And finally, scalar multiplication. So first off, let's look at the dimensions of a matrix. Now this is simply the uh, number of rows and number of columns of a matrix. The relevant function here is dim, dimension, and other useful commands we might look at is n row and n call. Now these are the number of columns and this is the number of rows. So I have a matrix here A and it's a very simple matrix values 1 to 9 along the rows. Now, first off, I'm going to compute the dimension of A. So it's three rows and three columns. Now, just to be clear, the number of rows or values pertaining to the number of rows or what number of row it is, that would precede uh, the corresponding value for columns. So we're going to look at the number of row, rows, n row, and that again is three. And the number of columns is also 3. Now we're going to look at the transpose of a matrix. Now the transpose of a matrix is very hard to explain, but once you see it, it's actually quite easy. It's the transformation of a matrix when all the rows are arranged into columns and vice versa, all the columns are arranged into rows. Now sometimes we might sort of denote that as A with the superscript T or alternatively with the prime symbol beside it. Now the relevant R function here is simply T, small t. Now I have this very simple matrix here A again. Now you'll notice here that the first row, one, two, three, is very simple, uh, simply the first three values of this data set were one to nine. Now I'm gonna compute the transpose of A and T of A. Now you notice that the first row is arranged along the first column, the second row is now arranged along the second column, and the last row is arranged around the, along the last column. Now I'm going to save that for that transpose matrix there. So I'm going to save that as B. Okay. Now importantly, A and B have the same dimensions, so the following co computations, the following calculations are possible. If they did not have the same dimensions, then adding and subtracting would not be possible. So I'm going to clear the screen, Control L, and we're going to uh, add the values of A plus B. Now this is simply the first value of A, I'm just going to put A down there, and B. Oops. So we can see them all there. So this is A plus B up here. Let's scroll up here again. Now this is simply the first value of A added to the first value of B in the top left hand corner. So this value here is 6. This is the addition of 2 and 4. And likewise 10. This is the addition of 3 and 7. So what would happen there is there it would be a case-wise uh, addition. Okay, I'm going to clear the screen now again. And likewise, we can do A minus B. And in this case, this would be the value of A, that would be 1, minus the corresponding value of B, which is also 1, hence we get 0. Okay, so that is a binary or matrix uh, addition and subtraction. Now finally I'm going to show you how to perform uh, scalar multiplication. Now scalar multiplication is very different from matrix multiplication and matrix multiplication I will deal with separately. But scalar multiplication is simply multiplying each value of a matrix by a certain value. So this is a scalar here it's just and it's simply 2. So essentially what I've done is multiply each value by 2. So we have 4 here, this is simply twice 2. 
we have 10 here that's 2 multiplied by 5 and so on. So that concludes our presentation on basic operations with matrices.